good morning out there in YouTube or whenever you're watching this, you, I guess. YouTube Nation. <laughs> um, so it's November, almost December, and we were thinking what RV gifts to give each other. And so we thought, come up with the top 10 list of RV gifts for people. Um, and some of these things you might already have or maybe thinking that you will need or would like for your RV adventures this coming year. So, number 10, we have action camera. Um, it doesn't matter which one you get. We like our Yi action camera. It shoots in 4K, 12 megapixels. A lot of people have the GoPros. Um, it's just a good way of being able to take your camera with you wherever you go and it holds up really well to all the use and abuse that you're going to get plus yes. their size you aren't packing a packing a big DSLR camera yeah, with you. I was going to mention that it's it's so nice just to pack this little two and a half by three inch camera versus your giant thing that you have to drape off of you and anyways pack all the gear to go with it so yeah it's nice to have a minimal little camera yeah number nine nine yep we have a can cooker that we like to cook with. Um, it's kind of like a pressure cooker slash Dutch Old oven. Milk jug. <laughs> yes. So li you literally throw everything in it, uh, liquid on top, set it, forget it. Um, it just simmers away um, for like 45 minutes, and then you open it up and you have a soft whole potato ready to go with your meat and whatever else you put with it. Yeah, there's all sorts of great stuff you can do. We've done kind of gumbo style, we've done lobster, we've done ribs, ribs all sorts pork. of stuff. Pork. So. I could go on. <laughs> but yeah. it is can cooker and just cancooker.com. Yeah. Um, next thing we have is... Giraffe. Giraffe. Um, a lot of us have taller RVs and we have to deal with height issues. The giraffe is a system that Kara's father has um, yes. installed in his truck that gives the height of the bridge you're going under mm -hmm. or whatever, or when you're pulling in to get fuel. Um, or you cross the Canada-US border and it switches to metrics. Yeah, <laughs> and so all those sort of things. Um, that way you can watch your height clearances. Not too hard to install in your truck. That's one of those things that we don't have yet that yet. we would like to that would be <laughs> get. Nice. So I guess that's on our list for this year that we don't already have. So yes. Um, the next one is uh, something that we love and our full-time wearers We're are die-hard supporters <laughs> of uh, the Ultra Shoes. These are the Ultra Shoes. Um, hopefully, you can see that there. These are the Olympus 2.0. They have a nice thick um, cushioned sole with the Vibram bottom. These things grip like crazy and they're great for hiking mm -hmm. in. Um, nice mesh top, very breathable, lightweight. Um, I've ran four or five ultra marathons with these shoes. Well, not this pair, but um, this <laughs> no, brand no. of shoes. Several marathons and Ironman. I love these shoes. Um, but it's not just for those sort of things. They make everyday shoes. They make road running shoes. Kara, who doesn't run at all and hikes some, she loves them as well. I love them. So you don't slide on slick rock. Um, they grip to anything. I actually just went rappelling in these, and they were phenomenal. Yeah, hiking around arches yesterday was great. Everybody else seemed to be slipping around in their tennis big shoes. bulky boots. Yeah, and big leather I boots. I just thought, that, those look so heavy. I mean, we're past those. Yeah. It's 2017. Come on, guys. <laughs> yes. Um, uh, the next one is probably my favorite is a paddleboard. Uh, may it be a full rigid one or an inflatable one, which is very nice that you can just roll up and throw in a tiny space. Yeah, we'd recommend the inflatable paddleboards for RVing because of a lack of room and a lack of place to haul and store one. So you can pack them up in the size of a backpack and take them wherever you go. And so when you're camping next to a lake or whatever, you can just mm -hmm. pump it up and, you know, throw the kids on it or go out for your own paddle or whatever. Yes, definitely. For our uh, fifth? Fifth one, I think. One, yeah. Uh, the collapsible wagons. 
Kara has seen these around in a lot of RV parks and has been wanting one for quite a while. So maybe we'll have to add that one onto the <laughs> Santa list. <laughs> they just seem so handy. Like, laundry, groceries, I don't know, going to the pool with all your kids and stuff. Or just going down to the your friends, your neighbors, across the campground. I don't, they just look so handy um, to just throw a lot of stuff in. Number four is uh, our baby Weber. Yes. Um, I love this thing. It's the Weber IQ 2000 or something like that. Mm -hmm. But we just call it the baby Weber. The baby. Yeah. Um, in my opinion, it is the best small grill you can buy. Weber makes great products. Yeah. And this is a small grill that you can really cook on and control the heat and come out with a good product. So many of them are so poorly made and they don't heat evenly and they just flat out suck. So go ahead and get the Weber. It has my five star Spend approval on that. The extra, get the baby Weber, um, get phenomenal meat, vegetables, anything you throw on that, you will not regret doing. Yeah. Um, um, number three, games. Games. There's lots of times you end up at the park and kids are bored or your board, whatever. Here at the campground board. And you don't have a lot of room to pack a lot of different outside of games. Like you can pack your board games and all that for rainy days. Mm -hmm. But we've found a few games that we like to pack with us that take up very minimal room. Um, the first one is the Spike It game. All right. So other games we mentioned was the Slamo, um, which is the little trampoline that you just assemble it all together. Um, and you play with these, they're kind of like rubber, rubber balls. So concept is volleyball style rules, one bounce off of that, opponent will then bounce it back off, you know, back and forth. Ping pong volleyball, there you go, that's what this one is. It gets very competitive with the guys, and it's a great time for all ages. Um, another one we mentioned was the bocce ball. The set that we have is really light versus literally the ball, bowling balls is what I'm trying to think of. Um, so it's really nice to pack and lightweight. There's four colors, so you can have two on two, four on four, whatever you wanted to do. That. All right, so this is this clown. Um, so basically just a simple can. I've seen this metal. I've seen this, uh, I don't know, makeshift at home. Concept is to throw it across. I'm a little rusty, guys. Give me a few um, to get it into. Yeah. Anyways, you'll get the point. You can either do it over the top or through the slot. This is an instant win, which I have done. <laughs> but you can have team members to help assist, or you can just do it. You know, just the two of you. Either way. Yeah. Uh, number two um, is going to be a parks pass. May it be a state pass or a national pass. Um, it is a nice thing to receive or to give because you know they're going to use it um, and then it gives them an opportunity to plan an itinerary around going to a park. Yeah, it helps plan your trips for the year and you get to go to parks you haven't went to. Mm -hmm. Plus it always feels like even though you paid for the pass that it's free when you pull up and you just flash that pass and they let you right on through. Yep, come on through. So it's like, oh, today was free. We realized that we paid for it earlier, but... <laughs> That's or just the was, way it feels. Yeah, or it was given to us, so either way. Yeah. Win-win. And, and the last one, um, and our probably most enjoyable, yes. is our portable propane fire pit. We pack it with us all the time, mm -hmm. um, and we sit out and we do s'mores on it and roast hot dogs and all sorts yes. of stuff, or just sit around it and have a, you know, have a drink and enjoy the RV park. Many RV parks don't let you have a fire, like a wood fire, so... We can always just get this out and grab our propane bottle out and sit next to the fire and yes. put it away at night and, and no smell of smoke. No, no smell. And then we're also the envy of the campground. Yeah, everybody walks by and... <laughs> what is that? Oh my yeah. gosh. You yeah. know, how does it work? It takes up a little bit of room and... Yeah, but it's worth it. It is. Yeah. It's fun. It's nice. And the one we got has a metal lid on it so it helps keep everything clean yeah. so we don't get dust and all that sort of stuff from the pumice stones inside of it. Mm -hmm. Um, so, yeah, it works out really nice. That's been a great gift that we re actually received yes. for our RV, and 
use quite often. Right. So, um, that's, are... that's our list, guys. So hopefully there's something there that would incite you to uh, give or to possibly splurge on yourself and go get. Yeah. And if you want to forward this on to somebody, so that way you're giving them hints on what you want. Yes, hints. Go hint. ahead and, you know, give this a like, subscribe, share it with somebody that you're looking to have them buy you something. Um, yeah. Maybe there was an idea here. If there's any other ideas that you would like to add to this, just comment below on suggestions, more things to think about um, when it comes to RV gift giving, because yep. a lot of us, when we want something, we just go out and buy it for our RV, and so maybe these are ideas that you hadn't thought of. So, thanks for watching. Yeah, thank you. And enjoy your weekend.